Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Hello there. Oh, spitting all over my hands. Uh, not very nice. Hmm? A little better on my hands than on my eyes. I know you want to go that way. I just want to get your stuck shutting off. Looks like it is. Let it all go, huh? Let it all go. Okay. You go in there? Huh? You go home? Big bad flavor keeper <laughs> got me all wet. Well, I guess it all come off. Wasn't much left. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. He's like, damn you, viper keeper, stay away from me. <laughs> Oh dear, he put me in the in the box with the water. Vipers, when they go after rodents and stuff, they'll always avoid the head and take it from behind. And interestingly enough, uh, snakes know that if they strike a bird, they have to hold on to it because it will fly away. Because even the taipan, who will whack something really delicately and get the head out of the way, will actually hold on to uh, avian prey. Oh, you missed. I hate when they miss and come at me. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes think that that's on purpose. Okay, have to... the little, uh, the little, and the Taipan that was hatched in August is a little bit too big uh, for her tub and her britches, of course. Uh, so, what the plan is, if it goes smoothly, is to uh, <laughs> see her little nose right there. Hook her out, get her in the tub, uplex it, glove as a backup because. Uh, I don't want to be playing snake hockey with her. deadly snakes in the lair. Uh, she's promised to uh, 
It's a gym at the Kentucky Reptile Zoo, and that's where it should be going as soon as the weather gets to a suitable level where uh, she can be transported. So let's go next door now and uplex the whole cage into the rack and let her saddle a feeder later. And that's about as safe as you can get it, considering uh, she is a, uh, a crazy uh, young lady that takes no prisoners. Hi gang. They know something's up because I removed their furniture. There's three uh, uh, Sasukaki Shima Habus, elegant pit vipers, uh, put a bathrobe's elegance in here. Uh, one male, two females, uh, and they're getting moved to a different quarters. Um, you never see them in the branches, so they don't need vertical space. There seems to be a ground dwelling snake. Uh, Want to refurbish this cage and put the uh, a uh, nasty young boom slang and something bigger to, to deal with them and let him grow some. So we're going to hook these uh, guys and gals out. Well, I got one of them. Your furniture is already in there, but we don't want to do that, do no, we? We want to play hockey. snake hockey. Snake hockey. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. Well, be careful where you reach, because the ends can reverse very quickly. Okay, so we'll just leave the door open. I know that will uh, annoy some people. How can you possibly have two cage doors open at once? Well, okay, I'm going to get the other female because females, ho, oh, seem to be very cranky and take a big affront to uh, having their junk grabbed. And now look, let's just agree that you stay at that end of the hook and I'll stay at this end of the hook. Come on. No being pissy. I'm sorry, guy. I gotta put you in there with those two cranky ladies. Okay, relax, dude. Relax. This is nothing compared to where you're going. Okay, that one lady went back into her house. The other one is just going to sit up there. I got their water dish in there, so we'll just uh, let them uh, acclimate. I'm probably not going to feed them this week. So I just disturbed them. My young friend here uh, who doesn't like me at all needs to be moved to a bigger cage so it's he's got more room and it's more safe for me uh, but he he doesn't like the last time I took him out of his cage just to clean it uh, he was so pissed he didn't eat um, for me for like four or five weeks I have a second hook because this is an arboreal snake very fast and would easily and quickly climb this hook so I am going to uh, 
There you go. Oops, I'm sorry. Oh. I didn't mean to switch your tail. Now he's really pissed. Yeah. It's only a little tap. Alright, don't rub your nose. Now that sort of worries me, that behavior. He had screen on top of his other cage, never rubbed his nose, but... Calm down. You'll be okay. Alright, well let's sort of leave him alone for a while. Hopefully he behaves himself. Now this pathetic guy, it's like I never feed him and you know he is just got an incredible feeding response, don't you? Huh? Are you ready? Are you ready? Look what I got. Oh, what was that? Is that a rat? Huh? Is that a tasty treat? Huh? There you go. Oh yeah. Walk your fangs right over its head. Now again, this is the Congo variety water cobra that really hasn't been properly classified yet and Wolfgang told me like four or five years ago that somebody was working on it. Well, where in the hell's the publication? I'd like to know where it fits uh, in relationship to the, uh, the water cobra group. Um, he happens to be a captive born male, captive hatched. Um, and I've been trying to get a female to go with them forever. Um, I did have a couple females, but they were wild caught and didn't make it. But he's a chow hound. He'll uh, uh, he definitely enjoys his tucker. There you go. All right, take it inside. I'm not trying to take it from you. Hi, dude. You want some more? Huh? There you go. Yeah. Now why'd you have to be difficult like that? Come on, get back in there. Let's take out. ready to rock and roll. I was uh, watering their little babies this morning. They were uh, quite interested in watering, but only two out of the five ate. His head healed up really well where the female bit him. I bet there's scar tissue underneath, but you know, he, he did really well. I was very worried. Well, here's the missus, except she seldom misses. Hi, nice to see you too. I've been feeding them a reduced amount because she really has a big butt. But oh, you insulted her. But not for very long. <laughs> not for very long. You know, she's probably ready to breed again, but I'm not going to breed her because those babies are impossible to get feeding. And, you know, it's not like force feeding a little squam where you know you don't there isn't an anti-venom really to give you uh, with these guys it takes a lot of anti-venom in order to, to counteract the bite because you know it's crofab and it wasn't made specifically against uh, speckled rattlesnakes so 
Feeding, force feeding those little babies is a real bother. There's someone here real ready. The, the nice thing, generally speaking, is forest culvers are really easy to control when there's food present. Hello? Hello? They're not very smart, but they're easy <laughs> to control. Because once once they have it, uh, they're not likely to let go of it. <laughs> but, you know, he, he's pretty easy to work with compared to other forest culbras that even I was frightened to open the cage because I knew it was going to be a, a huge challenge to control the animal. But he's pretty good. This is the Terminator. She, uh, she flows like she's liquid. And, well, not very smart either because she's hitting the heat source with no light. But uh, she could, Bothrop's Asper are really, really super fast and agile. Also, quite lovely looking animals. I mean, that, uh, that's a beautiful eye stripe on her face. Nice chuckly pattern. Get to be huge and very agile. No. <laughs> <laughs> you missed. Ah, vicious beast. Yeah, I can't house the male with her because she's, she's too volatile and the poor guy ends up getting bit. This is uh, Bothrop's Lacourus, the white-tailed lancehead. Hopefully he did his job and she's gravid. We'll know probably in August. You want another? Do you want to get rid of that little piece of, uh, of skin first? Huh? Oh, that's really on there. Oh, am I annoying you? Okay. Would you like that? Okay. So now... The problem is these... These aren't really good for grabbing little things like that. Eh, I'm annoying her, so I'll leave her alone. So that'll be two good meal... Uh, two good sized rats for her, so she'll... Uh, nourish those little embryos in there if they're cooking up.